It was the moment that changed the life of a golfer from Perth. Green from down under. I just remember how nervous I was over that putt. Um, you know, I've never had my heart race so quickly on the golf course. Green's first win on the LPGA Tour was a major, with golf legend Kari Webb cheering her on. Defending the title later this year will be uncharted territory. I hope there is extra pressure, to be honest with you, because that comes with notoriety and she absolutely deserves that. And I, I think that sometimes we don't get on board with these things enough in Australia. Could you please put your hands together for Anna Green. While waiting for tournaments to resume, Green's been at home teeing off in charity events and playing rounds with local juniors. Really nice to see yeah, the girls come through and hopefully I have somewhat inspired them, whether they want to become a professional like me or just be a really good golfer here in Australia. That's something that, you know, any country would love to see from their professional athletes. She's, she's someone that will be very easily idolised. The world number 21 is due to play her next tournament in Scotland in August, where she's likely to hit the ball further after a recent swing adjustment. You know, I don't feel like I've gotten any worse through this COVID, you know, period. I feel like I've definitely made some good progress. Alison Whitaker says the Greg Norman medal winner plays with a composure that belies her 23 years. I think her greatest strength is actually between her ears. Her maturity on the golf course and her, her ability to actually get the job done under pressure was amazing last year. The title defending champion is one Green likes the sound of. Hopefully I can actually be in that position more often. It could be a familiar sight. Duncan Huntsdale, ABC News.